Hello, this is Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane, and I'm going to show you the simple process to writing a program into the graphing calculator for the TI-83 and TI-84. I'm using TI-83 in this video, but TI-84 programs exactly the same way because it's identical setup and identical key steps. So, uh, let us begin. First of all, we need to turn on the calculator. So I'm going to say on. That's the bottom left key. Once we have the calculator started up, we're going to go to program. Now, program key we're going to use many times in the course of doing this. So the program key is a black key that says PRGM, and if that's hard to find, don't worry. It's three black keys above the number eight key. Okay, so eight is white, and three black keys above that, you get PRGM. Now I've got EXEC, edit, and new. EXEC is execute the program. In other words, run the program. It doesn't mean we're going to kill it. We're going to run the program. Sometimes we might want to kill that program. Though. Okay, so we're going to go to new. So go to the right two times, go to new. Create new shows up, hit enter. Got to name the program. Uh... An important thing to point out is normally on this calculator, you have to use the green alpha key. It's a different color on different calculators. Mine is green. You have to use the alpha key before every letter you put in. So if I was going to type the word dog, I would have to say alpha D, alpha O, alpha G. But when you're writing the name of the program, you can only use letters so you don't use the alpha key at all. Strange, but that's what they did. So I'm going to say PT for Pythagorean Theorem. So that's the, above the numbers 8, 4. And then AB. Okay. So just below the green alpha key, there's an A. And right next to that is a B. So PT, AB. Now I'm going to hit enter. Now I've got to get a prompt for A and B. Because we know... In Pythagorean Theorem, uh, if we have both legs, we're looking for hypotenuse. The legs are normally called A and B. Uh, so I need to prompt that. That's an input. Input and output are inside the program menu. So three black keys above the number eight is PRGM. Hit that one. Like I said before, we're going to use that a lot. We're going to go to I.O. and we're going to prompt it. So go down one thing to prompt. Hit enter. And I need AB. So now we're going to use alpha before every letter. So alpha A and comma. And comma is so obvious and easy to find that sometimes we miss it. And I know I had to go online and do a uh, watch a video <laughs> on how to find the uh, comma several years ago. So uh, if, you, if you have difficulty, don't feel bad. It's the black key right above the number 7. So I did alpha A. Now I'm going to do comma right above the number 7. And alpha B. I've got my prompts, and I'm going to say enter. Now I got to put in a formula. Now remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're not looking to get c squared. We're looking to get the square root of c squared. So if we're getting the square root of c squared, we got to also get the square root of a squared plus b squared. We got to square root that. So I'm going to write the radical for square root. Okay. The radical key, or the radical symbol, is a yellow symbol on the left side. And it's uh, just above the fifth black key from the bottom. So it's yellow, so it's second, and radical key. Now, the only real difference in the 83 and the 84 for the calculators is that on the 84, uh, many of them, the radical goes all the way across your formula. And in here, on this calculator... Um, you get the radical, and they just put a parenthesis, so everything in your formula is going to be inside the parentheses. So I'm going to say a squared plus b squared. So alpha a, and squared, that's that fifth black key from the bottom with the x squared on it. So I'm going to just hit that one and get to my squared. Plus, that's a blue key on the right side, and b squared, so alpha b and squared. Now I need to close my parentheses. Now, at this point, if I stop... I would never see the answer. I could put in 3 and 4 for A and B, but I would never see 5. So I've got to be able to see that. So I need to store 
the value that I get from square rooting a squared plus b squared. So store is the second bottom black key on the left. It's right next to the number one. So STO with the arrow, that's store. And now we're just gonna call it the letter C because C is used in the formula. So alpha C. At the end of that, I hit enter. Now I've got a display C. Well, that's an output. So that's a input outputs in program. So program key, go over one for input output and go down to display, which is DISP, hit enter. And now I'm gonna put the letter C, so alpha C and enter. I don't have to enter at the end of that one. I just do that because it just makes it easier on my eyes. So now I'm going to quit the program and I'm going to test the program. I think it's important to test it with values we already know. Like I'm going to put in 3 and 4 for A and B to see if it gives me 5. Okay, And if it does, then I'm going to try different values that I know just to, just to make sure. So I'm going to go to program. Now it's time to execute. Okay, we're going to run the program. So I enter. It tells me the name of my program, PTAB, so Pythagorean Theorem, sides A and B. Enter. Uh, we're going to say A is 3. Enter. B is 4. Enter. It should give me 5. Now I'm also going to try it on 5 and 12 to see if it gives me 13. So I'm already in the program. I'm going to hit enter. Okay. If it doesn't give me my A equals, then I would hit program and execute just like I did before. So A equals, and now I'm going to say 5, enter, and 12, enter, and see if it gives me 13. And it does. Okay, so this program is done. I'm going to write one more. Pythagorean theorem, where we have the hypotenuse and we need to find one of the legs. So, let's go to program. And new. Create new, enter, I'm going to name it PTAC. C is the hypotenuse. So no alpha key on this one though. So 8, 4, that's PT and AC. Once I have that, I hit enter. You can do this a lot faster than I'm saying it. I'm just saying it so we have time to catch up. That's it. Okay. Uh, I need to do my prompt. So program, go to input. Go down to prompt, enter. Now I need A and C. It does not matter what order I put it in. So I'm going to say alpha A, comma, alpha C. Got to remember that uh, comma is right above the number 7. Enter. Okay, now i got to put it in my program. So I'm going to put this all under square roots, but now instead of, say, A squared plus, we're going to have a C squared minus. C squared minus A squared. So alpha C squared after I do my radical, gotta get that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, alpha C squared minus alpha A squared. Close my parentheses. Gonna store that as alpha B. Hit enter. Now I'm gonna display B. So program, input, output, down to display, enter. Now I'm gonna say alpha B. And enter. Now I'm going to test it out with 3, 4, 5 triangle by saying A and C, 3 and 5. So let's quit, go to program, go down to PTAC. That's the one I just did. Enter. It tells me the name of the program. Enter. A, I'm going to say is 3. C is 5. Should give me 4. All right. Let's do it one more. Now I'm going to do my uh, 5, 12, 13 triangle. So I'm going to say 5 and 13 to see if it gives me 12. And it does. So I know my programs are correct. So the basic steps, hit program, go to new, hit enter, give it a name. So you name your program, you do your prompts, you write your formula and store the answer. As, as a letter variable, and then you display that answer, display that letter. That's the whole process. So if I'm looking at this with one I already wrote, this is how I did it. Program the calculator is not difficult. It's much more difficult on, say, something like the TI Inspire, but it's very simple on the TI-83 and TI-84. 
This is Talon with Old Guy Stuff on Busy Corner Lane. Have a safe, happy, peaceful, wonderful day, and goodbye.